way of me icing a cake and buttercream and I've gotten a few people who asked me how I make my buttercream icing and I am about to do that right now so I thought I would film that so stay tuned if you want to see how I do that that was weird so just stay tuned to see what I do I don't know whatever just keep watching <laughs> To make my buttercream, I use two and a half sticks of salted butter, three quarters of a cup of Sweetex High Ratio Shortening. The High Ratio Shortening is better than just regular Crisco. It has a smoother mouthfeel. It is a little more expensive, but it's worth it with the taste. A two pound bag of powdered sugar, and I use Wilton Clear Vanilla, trust me, Everyone loves the taste of it. It's amazing. These are the only ingredients that you need and then we can get started. So I start by putting the two and a half sticks of butter in the bowl. And creaming that together. And then I add the three quarter cup of sweet tex and cream that with the butter. This is where I add a little vanilla. I always eyeball it, um, maybe a teaspoon, one to two teaspoons. You can measure it out and then cream that together. And then to add the sugar, I always cover the top of the mixer with a towel so you don't get a huge cloud of powdered sugar. Then I have my two pound bag of powdered sugar. And since this mixer splashes, it, it mixes pretty fast, I add the sugar, I add the whole bag, turn it on so it can move the sugar around a little bit and then I cover this with the towel and I pulse it so the sugar doesn't spill out of the bowl and I pulse it until it gets incorporated and then I turn it on to mix on a higher speed. Once it's incorporated, I scrape down the sides. I do have a scraper paddle, but I find that I like to do it this way better. I like to scrape it myself than use a scraper paddle. It's just what I do. So once it's incorporated, it's too thick right now for me to use on a cake. Like it won't move. So I have to add some water. This is about a tablespoon right here. And I add between two and three tablespoons of water, depending on how humid it is out. So it's always this, this certain consistency that I'm looking for. And once I get it, I stop. So I start by adding two tablespoons of water. And then I check it to see the consistency here. It's still just a little too stiff to spread, so I'm gonna add another about a half tablespoon of water. And then stop to scrape down the sides if you're not using a paddle that has the scraper on it. And that's a good consistency. So here is your delicious American buttercream icing. So here you go. Here is your smooth, delicious, delicious, creamy buttercream icing. After you add the sugar, you just want to make sure once you add the water to bring it to the consistency that you want, you don't, you don't beat it that much because the more you whip it, the more you whip the icing, the more air you're going to put into it. So you want to try to incorporate everything, but not whip too much air into the icing. But as long as it's refrigerated, this should last, I would say, 
two weeks, three weeks in the refrigerator. Just keep it in an airtight container and it will stay fine in the refrigerator. And also when I add the vanilla, you can add whatever flavoring you want to there, uh, almond or whatever. If you use a clear extract, it's not gonna affect the color of the icing. If you use vanilla, that's why I use clear vanilla extract. If you use a, a regular vanilla that kind of has a brown color to it, it will affect the color of the icing, so just keep that in mind. So I hope that helps. If you like this video, feel free to like it and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And like always, you can leave any questions below and I will answer them as soon as I can. And feel free to follow me on social media. I am on Instagram and Facebook and I have my website. I will put them all below in the, um, in the info section or whatever. So I think that's it for now and I will see you.